I don't know what happened. Um, it just cut me off. Usually, like, when I hit, like, the pause button, it lets me come back. But it didn't, so now my video is in archive. <laughs> but that's okay, we'll fix that. I took a little break to, like, check on, um, the internet to, to find out. Because there's some, this mixture of letterings, um, gives me, like, um, diff like, ancient Indian empires. <laughs> like, like, Incan, Inca, Mayan, Aztec. There's something about that here. Like, I know that there's some with X and there's U's and there's G's and R's and J's. Like, I don't, I haven't touched on that in a long time. So it's hard for me to, there's no L's here. And there's only one I, so. I don't know. It's telling me. I have no M's here. I don't even have any ends, so how how is that even possible? Okay, give me a second. I don't know, that's kind of weird. So, mm, like, I pulled this book out. It's um for the Mayan tarot deck, but Zoltan. X U L T. There's no N here. That's why I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Zoltan Tower um, Tarot deck. Um, it's for the Mayans. We're gonna find out. Um, we don't have ends here. So I don't, I don't know. Like there's something like C U I T. Hey, uh, like okay, so Ketso Kodo. I don't know that Kodo. Huh. No, no, there's something about it. Like uh, I was told to look here. Toltec. Mm -hmm. The Toltec people. Okay, so let me see. Do I have an L? Okay, C T O L. I haven't pulled this deck out. I mean, this um, this book out for a long time. Yeah. So we have Toltec. Okay. So let's read a little bit about that. Okay, because I'm told that's what it's. That's so crazy. <laughs> Toltec. Okay. Okay. Historically, the successions of person known as Feathered Serpent begins about 100 BC when he established his capital at Chichen Itza, the mouth of the well of the Itza. Um, the city flourished for three or four hundred years, then, for reasons unknown, was abandoned and fell into ruins. The second Feathered Serpent was born in about 9th century at Tula. The growing center of the Toltec people. With the word Toltec, we encounter one of the confusing names given to ancient Mexican Mexican cultures. Toltec simply means the builders, and they were probably related to the Maya culture, for it is recorded that they spoke Maya with an accent, probably a dialect. Topilzin. Okay. Da, 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 da. Huh. I do remember something. Hmm. We're going to find the answer. Feathered serpent. We did see a lot of feathers here. Symbolism of the skull. I need to read this. I just held on to it. 
for when I would need it, and I think it's cutting through. Hmm. Okay. Okay, where are we here? Okay. Let me see. Tula. We have that. Okay. T U. Do we have an L? Yeah. L A. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second further feathered serpent was born in the ninth century at Tula, the growing center of the Toltec people. Okay. Okay. I'm just scanning it. I'll probably read it a little bit more later. Am I showing my spudge? It's not even really very much. But whatever. Cut. Very interesting. Okay, there's there's a lot to go with here. Okay, let's see. What do you want me to get from here? Mm -hmm. Virgo. The sage overcomes material. Lamat. Okay, a man kneels in the center of the picture, pointing upwards in a lintel over the temple door that depicts two men in a canoe. They are going in different directions, and between them is the eye of the sun decorated with water lily buds. The other hand, the, kneel, the kneeling man points down at a basin in which a fire blazes, and from which much smoke pours out. Behind the sage is a starry sky in which is a small square spa passage with a light at its end. Lining up with the spine of the sage is a staff with one leaf, living leaf on it. Okay. The sage is alone so that he may hear the inner voice speak. There is need for quiet so that the path may be seen clearly. The intel, oh, sorry, lintel, um, demonstrates the confusion that was the life of the sage. Hmm. For it shows two men in a boat and they are going in different directions. The tunnel in the sky is open in openness. Um, the sage requires to see the way out. The sage has so ne has no needs, for the universe provides everything that is necessary to sustain him. He makes no demands whatsoever. He makes no effort either. Yet he survives. The mystery of existence, which is a staff, supports him. The fire in the bowl warms him. The bowl. Are, are depicted on the bowl are depicted the opposites wake and sleep the fire makes a triangle on the conciliation between them hmm that's crazy you're just talking about surrender and even before this verbally in the car i was saying um um how i have all the resources all that i need that I'm in prime position. The sexual expression, there is mastery of sex. It no, it no longer claims the attention all of the time. There is an ease and grace about the act, for nothing is expected of it other than what it, what it gives. There is sexual enjoyment of the highest order. The sage does not choose his partners. When it is right, they are there, for he has understanding and wisdom to be able to satisfy. What? 
Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Interesting. So, okay, meaning the sage has no needs since the universe... Okay. Da, 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 da. Poverty is state, a state of mind. Okay. Freedom is not... Being rich does not free one from poverty. Okay. Which is a conditioned response. <laughs> okay, so a sage is a continual explorer. An observer. Okay, so what I um clicked on or you know <laughs> clicked on <laughs> old school clicked is Virgo. The Virgin seems on the surface hardly to have that talent for practice organizational ability, yet the natives of the sign do. Is that right? I don't know. Okay. Um, they have a capacity for analytical thought as well as ability to interpret accurately all the conflicting info gathered by the senses. As a rule, Virgo natives are conscientious in their dealings with others and tend to exhibit very high principles. They are excellent learners, uh, ex excellent learners and are often mechanically dexterous. Very good in occupations which use the fingers or the toes, typing, dancing, drafting, craftsmanship, etc. Badly aspected virgins tend to worry excessively, become high nervous, highly nervous, and tend to vacillate between periods of socializing, which they tend to do badly, and periods of solitude. I don't know if that's right. I don't know. Maybe for me, but I know vir other Virgos who are good at it. Um, like a lot of Virgos are, so I don't know about this. There is a tendency to do things in excess in either direction. Okay. There are more spinsters and bachelors in this sign than in any other. Mm -hmm. Ruler is Mercury, mutable Earth. Okay. All right. I, I don't know. They, they wanted me to pick the sage. Okay. And it's overcoming the material. It's on page 101. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Um, all right. So we're back here. Hello. Hello. It's Tula, not Tulu. Okay. Mm. Roja, we're getting red in Spanish. I'm getting refuge. Hmm. Okay. So spirit is leading to us to a 
place of safety. Okay, Spirit is saying that this place of safety we are going to be in awe of. Mm -hmm. hmm. Taxi. I don't know why this is something to travel to. I mean, why would you have a taxi, right? Hmm. Is that right? There's also exact. I mean, It's saying that people are going to come and go <laughs> in our lives. And that's fine, you know. That's, I feel like, that's just a fact of life, you know. It just happens to be more frequent, frequent with us. Um, with, with our line of work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to show us the way. Um, being in a safe place is not only going to be like, like, wow us. It's going to show us the way. You know, being happy with where you are um, makes things click. Um, it makes things click. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody's initials, TJ or RJ, or even JC, maybe here, have some kind of significance. I'm saying more so RJ and JC, just because it's, I'm um, sharing the same J here. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Mm. Okay. Two more letters left here. GQ. 
Someone must be highly attractive. Or, yeah, I feel like it. Like, gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen's quarters. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. Because it's where it's physicianed. Anyway. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Um, so we have a W left. Where does that go? I mean, TW, I think more so WT is someone's initials as well. Um, I don't know where else W will fit though. Someone might be from Washington. Mm -hmm. Dude, uh, this is kind of one of more, one of more difficult ones. It's not clicking together just because... Mm. W, Y... I don't know. Does that go there? I'll say it's woo. <laughs> Enter the woo. You know when you like woo someone? <laughs> it's a different thing type of awe, like they swoon. Um, uh, however, this woo is spelled with, instead of a double O, it's a U. So it's um, more direct and it's like more hardcore. <laughs> like if you're to label one softcore and one hardcore, this would be like the hardcore version of a woo. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah. That's insane. Okay. So I will just show you and then we'll just call it a day. Okay. There we are. There we are. Oopsie. Hmm. Because you see it. You see it. You see it. Okay. And that is all for now. Now that this reading is officially over, I close all portals that have been open. Thank you so very much. Yes. Oh, here we go. Close all portals that have been open. Yeah. Um, thank you to my divine team. To our divine teams of love and light. Okay, I'm feeling a little tired right now. Need some coffee. Need to jump start again. All right. Have a great day.